Hello! Today we'll be talking about Hypno, the only evolution of drowsy who evolves at level 26. Its previous PYC dates are June 2nd, 1996, March 24th, 1999, January 12th, 2002, November 2nd, 2004, August 24th, 2007, June 14th, 2010, April 4th, 2013, January 24th, 2016, November 14th, 2018, and September 4th, 2021. I must remember Hypno from an early anime episode where he can have children. Coincidentally, this is the episode we'll be watching today. I like Hypno's pendulum and how it uses it to put people to sleep. Let's get into the Bulbapedia article. Hello and welcome to the Bulbapedia section of the video. Today we are talking about Hypno, the hypnosis Pokemon whose number is 0079. This is what it looks like. Type is Psychic, Abilities, Insomnia or Forewarn in Gen 4 Plus, and Inner Focus is its ability. Gender Ratio, 70-50, Catch Rate is 75 or 17.5%, Breeding, a Group Human-like, Hatch time 20 cycles, height 5 foot 3 or 1.6 meters, weight 166.7 pounds or 75.6 kilograms, base experience yield 165 in the first 4 gens and 169 in 5 plus. Leveling rate is medium fast, EV yield is 2 in special defense, shape is that, footprint is that, Pokedex color is yellow, and base friendship is 70. Hypno is a psychic type Pokemon introduced in Gen 1. It evolves from Jowsy starting at level 26. Biology, Hypno is a bipedal, slightly humanoid Pokemon that has yellow skin, it has triangular ears with brown interiors, sleepy looking eyes, and a large nose. On its neck, it has a ruff of white fur, which is longer on the female. Hypno has five fingers on each hand and holds a pendulum and its left. The pendulum resembles a flat silver ring and is used for hypnotism. Hypno is never seen without it. It has three toes on each foot which also have a pink pad on the undersides. Hypno is able to put people to sleep by swinging its pendulum. It is known to reside away from humans and on less traveled roads. While it awaits its prey, it polishes its pendulum. If anyone comes by, Hypno will hypnotize them and eat their dreams. It carries away people having good dreams and is even known to have stolen a child at one point. However, in the Alola region, it preys primarily on Komala, and cases of hypno-targeting humans are notably rare. Some hypno are even known to assist doctors in hospitals when their patients cannot sleep at night. In the trainer's school in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, a hypno is shown to be capable of creating illusions, namely by disguising itself as a human and causing illusionary children to appear. Oh boy. Evolution, hypno evolves from drowsy. So you can see that here, drowsy hypno. Game data, Pokedex entries. In Gen 1, in red and blue, when it locks eyes with an enemy, it will use a mix of psi moves such as hypnosis and confusion. Hello, avoid eye contact if you come across one. It will try to put you to sleep by using its pendulum. Stadium, if you lock eyes with it, it will try to hypnotize you. It is best to close your eyes quickly before you get hypnotized. In Gen 2, in gold, when it is very hungry, it puts humans it meets to sleep. Then it feasts on their dreams. Silver, always holding a pendulum that it rocks at a steady rhythm. It causes drowsiness in anyone nearby. Crystal, the longer it swings its pendulum, the longer the effects of its hypnosis last. Stadium 2 is just gold's entry. In Gen 3, in Rubius Sapphire, Hypno holds a pendulum in its hand. The arcing movement and glitter of the pendulum lull the foe into a deep state of hypnosis. While this Pokemon searches for prey, it polishes the pendulum. Emerald, the arcing movement and glittering of the pendulum in Hypno's hand lull the foe into deep hypnosis. While searching for prey, it polishes the pendulum. Fire red, it carries a pendulum-like device. There once was an incident in which it took away a child it hypnotized. Leaf green is red and blues again. In Gen 4, diamond, pearl, and platinum. Seeing its swinging pendulum can induce sleep in three seconds, even in someone who just woke up. Heart gold is its gold counterpart, but soul silver is very similar to silver, with slightly different soul read it. Always holding a pendulum, that it swings at a steady rhythm. It causes drowsiness in anyone nearby. The Gen 5 Pokedex entries are Diamond, Pearl, and Platinums. In Gen 6, X is Fire, Red's entry. Y is Red, Blue, and Leaf Green's entry. Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire are their Ruby and Sapphire counterpart. In Gen 7 and Sun, while it is an extremely dangerous Pokemon, people who are in need of a good sound sleep call it their savior. Moon, as a matter of course, it makes anyone it meets fall asleep and has a taste of their dreams. Anyone having a good dream, it carries off. Ultra Sun in Alola, Kamala is Hypno's main target. It rarely harms people. Ultra Moon. 
There are some hypno that assist doctors with patients who can't sleep at night in hospitals. The Let's Go Games entry is Yellow's entry. The Gen 8 Pokedex is its Diamond and Pearl counterpart. In Gen 9, Scarlet is basically Red, Blue, and Leaf Greens, but now Psy is lowercase. Violet is Soul Silver's entry. So they've got a male hypno in the Alola Pokedex, a female hypno, so you can see the difference of the ruffles there. Uh, in the Alola Pokedex. Hypno in the Paldea Pokedex. So I think it's a male. I think it's shorter. Um, yep. So that's cool. And of course it's in... It's outside of buildings. Probably ready at night, of course. Probably ready to put people to sleep. Game locations. Side game locations. Held items. Pokemon Cotton Gen 1 must be traded to a Gen 2 game in order for a held item to appear. In red, blue, and yellow, you get a gold leaf 100% of the time. Stats. Base stats. HP 85. Attack 73. Defense 70. Special attack 73. Special defense 115. 67 is its speed. Total uh, 483. This Pokemon's special base stat in Gen 1 was 115. Pokathon stats. Type effectiveness. Damage normal by normal, flying, poison, ground, rock, steel, fire, water, grass, electric, ice, dragon, and fairy. Weak to bug, ghost, and dark for double. Immune to nothing, resistant to fighting, and psychic for half. In Gen 1, the effectiveness of ghost type moves is zero. So it went from zero to two. For learn set, by leveling up, we'll go down to 32 uh, Zen Headbutt. 32 Zen Headbutt, 37 Swagger, 42 Psychic, 47 Nasty Plot, 51 Psy Shock, and 56 future sight. We're skipping by TM, and by breeding, nothing by prior evolution, side game data, call this. Pokemon Ranger in the browser entry. When Hypno spreads its arms wide, it is preparing to attack with psychic waves. Shadows of Almia, it lets loose strange orbs from the palms of its hands to attack. Okay, got all this. Evolution data, drowsy, level 26, Hypno. Sprites here. Ooh, that's interesting. I mean, it's got the basics down, the large nose and the ruffle and the, you know, general shape, I guess. Uh, it looks to be like three or four fingers at this point. It counts four, or maybe five. But yeah, it looks like five on this hand, four on that one. Um, for, yeah, for hands there. Uh, the nose becomes more straight. Like, it, it, looks like a, it almost looks like a very human nose with the... I don't know what that bot with that part the this part. I don't know what that part's called. But yeah, we got the ears, a lot more pointy in the first one. They become a little bit less pointy, so it doesn't really work for this one because they were clearly built with those pointy ears. Um Pendulum, pretty basic. I guess it becomes more of the ring like the very thin ring, I guess. And yellow here. It kinda of brings back the pointed ears a little bit more. There's now clearly five fingers on each hand, and it looks like three toes. Um, yep. Gold, it's just kind of a gold now. <laughs> um, and a pink, shiny. Yep. It becomes a little less, I mean, a different kind of shade of gold, I guess. Um, it's still kind of the same pink, though. Pendulum, I mean, it kind of changes a little bit, I guess, as. Yeah, with each of them, that's a little bit different. Um, yep. Okay, then in Gen 3, we get the proper white scruff here, and then the silver pendulum. It's now a different shade of pink. Back to yellow again. Um, yep. Yeah, not much. But the nose, oh, the nose. Oh, that's, yeah, it is interesting. The nose is more bulbous. And ruby, sapphire, and emerald, but back to the sort of the pointed nose and fire red and leaf green. Um, uh, okay, this has sort of a between the rounded and the pointed nose. Also introduces the female version, and we get to see so this like brown ear insides. I guess that's just kind of new in general, is the brown ear insides. Um, the pendulum probably changes a little bit. Sure it does. Uh -huh. um, that. Okay, Gen 5. Not really much of a difference. Sure, maybe it's slightly different. Maybe it's slightly thinner. Um, then we got the models here. So they kind of go closer back to the pointed nose. Um, yep. Yeah. yeah, I'm really. Not really much to say. It might be a little bit taller. Um, yep. Then we got, let's 
Let's go games. Not really much to say. <laughs> um, homes here, yeah. Nice and shiny. Uh, in the anime, no, in the anime. For Pokedex entries, we uh, did this for the anime section, so we'll let the professional read it. Hypno, a hypnosis Pokemon. It carries a pendulum like device and performs hypnotic attacks. Okay, uh, in the manga here. Hypno in Pokemon Adventures. This, okay. In the TCG, other appearances, Celestial, Hypno appeared in the music video for Celestial, it came out of Ed Sheeran's Game Boy Color and promptly put him to sleep. Hypno in the music video for Celestial, so you can see that there. Merchandise, Hypno was one of the first four Pokemon designs revealed when the Pokemon 151 brand was first announced. The shirt design features an image of Hypno swinging its pendulum from the left side of the shirt. Trivia, Hypno's red, blue, leaf green, and scarlet Pokedex entries make reference to it using Psywoo, or Psywoo's in Scarlet, possibly indicating an early name for the psychic type in English. Hypno's numbers in the Alola Pokedex in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon and the Baldea Pokedex are identical, 067 for the former and 67 for the latter. Hypno are most likely commonly left-handed due to always holding their pendulums in their left hand. We did this last point yesterday. Origin, Hypno is based on a tapir, hypnotist, and baku, or dream eater spirit of Japanese mythology. It also looks similar to a proboscis monkey. Aspects of Hypno's behavior also resemble various fairies, goblins, boogeymen, and other supernatural entities in European folklore. Name, origin, Hypno may be derived from hypnosis. Very likely. Sleeper is literally sleeper. Uh, in other languages, seeing all that. External links. Yep. Let's move on. Since we watched Hypno's first scene yesterday, let's watch its second. Hello, and welcome to the anime portion of the video. Um, today we're watching episode 27, Hypno's Nap Time. In this episode, Ash catch on the main character and his traveling companions, Brock and Misty, as well as his faithful companion, Pikachu, have come to Hop 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 Town, where they learn that a bunch of kids have been uh, kidnapped, and with the help of Officer Jenny here, who's using a sleep wave detector, they've tracked down this mansion on top of a skyscraper, um, they've just busted into this party here, where they found a Hypno and a Drowsy. So we're continuing that scene after the break. Yes, so, Brock, Ash, Misty. Are you new members? Uh, members? Uh... We've been monitoring some sleep waves coming from up here. Sleep waves? Oh, I know. There's, there's Hypno. Hypno must have been Oh, there's the little spot. That's Hypno's second scene in the anime. Let's move on. Now let's watch Hypno scenes in Detective Pikachu. Hello and welcome to the Detective Pikachu portion of the video, or as I like to call it, Detective Hypno, since it's only the frames with Hypno. So you can see Hypno is on this poster here. That's the only Hypno we'll be seeing in our film. It's just on this poster here. Um, in the film... Tim Goodman, the main character, has come to Rhyme City, a city where humans and Pokemon coexist. Not that that's really all that important. Um, uh, after his father, uh, Harry Goodman, had died in a car accident. So he is about to enter this room. It's designed to look like his childhood bedroom. Uh, because when he was a young boy, his mother died. Um, and his father moved to the city. He wanted Tim to live with him, so he set it up like his childhood bedroom. Um, yes, and... Yeah, so there's, there's Tim. So he's sitting down. He's remembering the day his mom died. Fingerprints. And so, we've got to later in the film, he's met Detective Pikachu, who's talking Pikachu, um, who is Harry's detective partner. Um, after going on a wild adventure, they came back to the apartment here. Um, oh, he believes that Harry isn't dead, so they're gonna, I mean, they're gonna work together. You don't really see much of that, so you can see the poster again. He's looking through the drawers here because he has amnesia and he's trying to figure out what's got, what, how, you know, figure out more about his past. 
Uh, doesn't add up. There's a connection, isn't there? No. So he's talking about how there's a connection between all these Pokemon stuff in this room and a love of Pokemon. He's like denying it and stuff. Before my father moved to this. And now he's talking about how he used to love Pokemon before his father moved to the city. City and spent more time with Pokemon than his own son. Mm -hmm. So then he, yeah, that's just after the scene, he's leaving. Uh, yep, and that's it. Let's move on. Now let's talk about the TCG. I have two Hypno cards. A Dark Hypno and a Normal Hypno card. We'll start with the Normal Hypno. It's the first Hypno card design. It was illustrated by Kenzu Gamori. Normally I would complain about how boring it is since it's just the official art from Pokemon Red and Blue on a cool enough background. But the art is so cool. It shows Hypno hypnotizing the viewer. It has 90 HP. It's 5'3 and 167 pounds, which is 0.3 pounds heavier than its weight in the official Pokedex. Next to the weight, there is a symbol that indicates it's from the Fossils expansion. Hypno has two moves, Prophecy and Dark Mind. Neither are moves from the video games. On this card, Prophecy costs one psychic energy. It allows the player to look at the top three cards from their pile or their opponent's pile. They can then rearrange them in any order. On this card, Dark Mind costs 3 Psychic Energies and attacks the active opponent Pokemon for 30 damage, but also hits for 10 unmodified damage to a benched opponent Pokemon of the player's choice. Hypno is weak to Psychic and not resistant to anything. I've talked about this yesterday, so I won't repeat myself here. Its description reads, When it locks eyes with an enemy, it will use a mix of Psy moves such as Hypnosis and Confusion. This is the same as the Pokedex in Pokemon Violet and is almost identical to the Pokedex in Pokemon Red, Blue, and Leaf Green. It's level 36. My Dark Hypno card is the first card designed for the Dark Hypno card. It was illustrated by Kagamaru Himino. I like that we get to see the pendulum in movement. I also love the Egyptian hieroglyphic looking eyes in the background. Dark Hypno has 60 HP, 30 HP less than normal Hypno. It's the same height and weight as normal Hypno. It has the Team Rocket expansion symbol next to its weight. It has two moves, Psy Punch and Bench Manipulation. Neither of these are moves from the video games. On this card, Psy Punch costs one Psychic Energy and hits for 20 damage. On this card, Bench Manipulation costs two Psychic Energies and one of any energy. The opponent flips a coin for every Pokemon they have on their bench and the amount of tails they get is the is multiplied by 20 for the damage of the active opposing Pokemon. This means this move can hit for 0, 20, 40, 60, 80, or 100 damage. Dark Hypno has the same weakness, resistance, and retreat cost as normal Hypno. Its description reads, Carries a pendulum with it always. Sometimes appears near less traveled roads and schools at dusk. This is an original description. It's level 26, meaning it's a freshly evolved Hypno. I don't have a card for Krabby, so the next Pokemon with the card I'll be talking about is Voltorb. Now let's see why people love Hypno. Now let's look at fan art. Hello and welcome to the fan art section of the video. Nobody set in fan art, so instead we're looking at DeviantArt fan art. For those of you familiar with the series, might be wondering why we're on this single image. That's because this is the only image we'll be doing today. So this is Hypno Redraw by Rescue. So it's this cool uh, hypno here doing this cool pose with the pendulum. It's very nice, very well drawn. Looks like kind of sketching, maybe. It's pretty cool. A little bit of paint, maybe. Yeah. Looks very cool. Let's move on. Thanks to everyone who submitted fan art. I won't be streaming tonight as a newbie until I talk about Snorlax to evolve Drowsy into Hypno. Tomorrow I'll be talking about Krabby. As always, this is in my proper outfit. You'll see me tomorrow. 